What is going on guys, my name is Rom back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Science Found Love, so I tried to prove it, this is going to be episode 4. Uh, last episode we got to basically the plannings of a date between our two stupid <laughs> smarties over here. Um, and we are going to be going into the actual date, so I'm curious to see what's going on. Um, I do apologize for the hair and face. <laughs> I actually just woke up and I've been uh, a little bit tired this last week um, due to just work and all that stuff. So, also I'm Asian, so slanted eyes. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, as I've been saying, this has been my uh, definitely feel good anime of the series, more because of, like it makes me laugh. And uh, with Darman's game being a more very very much more serious uh, type of show for the most part, and then Inspector. As of so far, the first episode very light-hearted in a sense. Um, up until like the last few minutes, uh, this is definitely going to be a, the balance that I kind of need with Dorm's game being the more serious things, and then this show being the more light-hearted. I know another one. Someone was saying about um, Hanako Toilet Kun, something like that, along those lines. Um, and I might be able to get to it. Uh, but as I've said before, with my current schedule. I've been extremely busy, however, it seems like things are going to be starting to die down relatively soon. So hopefully, um, and I keep on saying that, but this time it really looks like, like we're in the clear. Um, and if that is the case, uh, I will be having a few days off, which is very abnormal. I normally only have one day off, which is usually today on Fridays, uh, so I can at least get some recordings in. And if that is the case, and I do actually get some time off, then I definitely will be able to catch up on other shows and other things. Um, and and I've been putting off Flashback Fridays. Um, I think today I'm just going to upload the video of that one episode. I wanted to knock out two, but considering I'm knocking out two episodes for today with Darwin's Game after this, of course, and then Science Love, um, you'll have three videos today from me. So I'll actually upload it after everything's all said and done. I'll upload this. I'll upload... Um, Darwin's game and then I will upload the first episode of a very uh, long anticipated show that you guys have been looking for I'm still looking to get episode two um you'll see what I mean um later on uh I'll actually just look forward to it in the future when I've actually posted up so look forward to that but anyways guys I'm ready to jump into this episode I'm ready to laugh my tits off and who knows maybe I will actually push the button of destiny I'll keep it right next to my desk, just in case. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump in to Science Love Episode 4. So in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. <laughs> Studying how... Hachiko. Is it Hachiko? I know it's Hachi. I know Hachi is part of it. But the uh, famous Shiba Inu. Exactly right on time. <laughs> of course. Hachikusi. Hachikuse. Sorry. Is it Kuse or Kusi? I believe it's Kuse. Yeah, that's right. They have a full-on itinerary of how it's exactly going to go, and I find that amazing. <laughs> All right. As per usual, I'm going to be uh, cutting off the um, audio because, you know, copyright. But yeah, hopefully, oh, by the way, let me know if I should actually lower the opacity for this. If you guys can see it fine, then I'm not going to, but if you guys can't, let me know. Um, I want to make it so at least it's still slightly visible for you guys. Um, but again, I can't do it too much due to copyright. Um, usually my setup has, I've tested my setup for quite a while, and this is kind of the sweet spot. But if I can, I, I will always risk trying out. Um, but, but like I said, if you guys can see it, then I won't, I won't touch it. Um, but yeah, as I said before, we finally got to meet all the other scientists. Oh, no, I take the bag. We forgot to meet the older dude who's ripped as fuck. Um, I'll point him out when I see him. Um, I also find it funny, the guy with the blonde hair, he subverted our expectations completely. He always, he acted and looked like that cool type. 
Couldn't be farther from the truth. I mean, this looks cool, but yeah. <laughs> him, the guy with the glasses and the, r the rip dude. We haven't seen him yet, so I'm assuming we're probably going to get him near the end of this episode. Or, um, next episode. Because next episode, I mean, it'll be episode 5. Okay, oh, sound, sound. <laughs> they were gonna spy. Oh no, but it's gonna change the plans, or maybe they'll just push it. Okay. Oh, let me fix my webcam just slightly. Yep. Oh, okay, I thought it was taking her that long to shop. Why are you guys using outdated material? We all know it's all about the Switch nowadays. <laughs> She's not even looking and kicking his ass. By the way, I started realizing that there is a, um, there is a slight. Hold on, I, I want to see this first. Oh no, are you gonna attach it to your arm? <laughs> Please don't do it. Please don't attach it to your arm. <laughs> you made it worse. It's better, but still, probably should put it <laughs> a motion gun. Oh, get it, we get to see, and he's gonna be. <gasps> Not. Telling you, this show makes me just ha like makes me happy. <laughs> I really hope people give this show a shot. This is a, this is a good, definitely like a makes you. Don't make me hit it twice this this early on. Don't matter as long as you're in them. Is this is this a forbidden P word? Progress? <laughs> I mean personally B
I both love and hate this because it remind uh, like I love it because they're actually using scientific and mathematical situations, and I also hate it because they're using scientific and mathematical situations because I was god damn. I actually failed my last year of math class. Granted, it was an AP class, which was, if you guys don't know, if, AP was basically a college-level class in high school. So this is... Yeah, that's me, that's my face right there, the one on the left, just... <laughs> right over my head. <laughs> oh, okay, and then we get, of course, the... Uh... We get Mr. Kuma. Like, I do, like, you definitely have to, like, pay attention to this kind of show as well, if you think about it, because, I mean, if you really think about it, like, all this jargon, the scientific and mathematical jargon, doesn't really pertain to the actual enjoyment of the show. If um, It's just a nice little touch. Oh, it's a two from the beginning, yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a piece of shit. Yeah, never do that. Regardless of your gender, don't do that. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Actually, okay, I actually have had situations with that in general. I've been on dates where I've done that to someone, and someone has done that to me. It's about a 50-50%. I mean, if the girl ever did that to me, I'd be like, of course. <laughs> there was one time, though, where she was like, ah, I don't like doing that. I'm like, okay, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> But I have a date myself. <laughs> but oh yeah, going back to my one topic that I had totally trailed off of, um the whole small S M O L S M O L small girl that is like a teasing thing has been actually a big trait and a uh, gimmick that's been used very lately a uh, very commonly lately most one that um one that immediately pops into my head yes i am paying attention by the way for anyone who's like stop talking about things um asumi from Bogotachi or we never learn um was the same exact way take her hand 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 Pussy. Pussy. Oh no. Oh no. By not two timing in the first place, you dumbass. Oh no! That's what they're going with? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't touch her. Don't put her hand.
Okay, she just has the data right there. Okay, I was having I w- I had a total different way of how things were gonna go, but I'm fine with this too. But it actually makes sense in terms of like how these girls are, or this person's mindset is. Oh no! And then he's gonna egg it on, which is gonna make him push it over the top, and then we need our man to step up. If you. He got the hand. He got the hand. Oh, she was scared. Oh, never mind. (laughs) Prove it. (laughs) those eyes though man those wild eyes <laughs> Don't let her pick that up, please. If you think about it, that also was manly in a scientific nerdy type of way. I love how they're they're at they're also trained the like psychic they're trained like an experiment too. Oh man, every time I see an amusement part and I see a Ferris wheel it reminds me of freaking plastic memories. Ah. <laughs> Is that a churro, by the way? It looks bomb. I haven't had a churro in a minute. Super unhealthy for you, though. (laughs) Yeah, that guy screaming in the background would probably easily be me. Yeah, and no, I'm not a fan of roller coasters. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> just get married already, please. That's also what I was thinking, but I just... <laughs> I wanted to pull it out, but I was like, wait, did I miss something? Did they actually put it on?
Okay, who's going to be the one who's afraid? Is she gonna try to, like... They're both scared. I okay. I was like, it's either one. It's it would even be her or both of them. <laughs> Other stuff. Okay, that's not that bad. It'll just give me um. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe he's fucking dead. <laughs> oh hell no! Hell no! And shit my pants. <laughs> Ferris wheel. Oh. But rem okay, they have the lab coats off. But remember, the main thing you have to take about take away from this. Did you have fun? Did you enjoy yourself? If you get those two. You really had this successful. I mean, yes, it would be nicer if you were able to connect in a better way or with the opposite person. But as long as you guys both had fun, you both enjoyed yourself, both enjoyed your guys' company at the same time, you've had a successful date. Of course. It also depends on your end goal for whether or not... You want the date to lead into whether it be a closer relationship or something more farther out. Why am I giving? Why am I talking about dating? <laughs> it. <laughs> Oh, there was plenty of romantic mood, if you think about it. They just... They're doing it in their own special kind of way. Cookies. Buying jewelry. <laughs> you might just want to... Just leave it at that, man. You don't need to talk about it anymore. Oh. It's kind of funny. The people who are um, also, like, kind of stupid in this thing are also ones who can also give the best, like, romantic lines. Oh, let me see the... I, you know what? I'm actually curious. I want to see these numbers. Over 2,000 times. Almost 2,000. Oh, oh, you can't make that... Kind of, you can't make that face. That's cheating. Oh, you basically just asked for another date. I see you. I got you. Oh, she has the earrings on already. I'd like to say that that experiment was a good success. Okay. Uh, that was definitely, like I said, I'm very, in, I'm really enjoying this. So far, my favorite show of the season, so far. I mean, Inspector's only on one episode, we get the second episode tomorrow. Um, but as of what I've seen so far, granted, remember, I'm only watching three shows right now from this current season, which is Inspector, Darwin's Game, and this. 
out of the three, this one is taking the cake in terms of enjoyability. Although I am I am a little bit curious as to why they dropped the first three episodes at first. Does anyone know why? Um, was it just backlogged? I mean, I'll take it. I just realized she's wearing the earrings in the ending. Okay, she not, doesn't look like she's wearing the bear. I also really like this ending, and just in terms of like, like there's not showing much in terms of like visually. It's not super much. Like it has its moments, of course, but I like the song. Oh, are we getting anything else? No, we're not. So they tried holding a meeting. Okay, you know what? This is gonna be my prediction of when we're gonna meet the other buff ass dude. Um, but yeah, what did you guys think about this episode? Easily great. That made me hit the nut button. So that is a plus. <laughs> but no, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. It was good, good episode. Made me, made me laugh a bunch of times. Made me smile throughout almost the entirety of the episode. And like I was saying, like with this show, um, you're not expecting too much. Um, it's very cut and dry, and to the point. That's what I mean. It's not like cut and dry in like the terms of like the overall setting and the story <clears throat> because it's far from dry it's very entertaining very laughable very comedy driven and in fact like i said i would love to see this how a dub team would do this um i know some people hate um dubs in fact there was this guy on twitter who was saying that all dubs are bad that's not even close to true that and if you believe that then you are very ignorant to the fact um dubs are have been getting better and better for years and years um there are times where I prefer dubs over subs and subs over dubs. It's just preference. Um, but immediately Im Im eliminating a preference due to just some type of notion that you believe something's bad so everything must be bad is a very foolish and stupid way of looking at things, um, in my opinion. Of course, that's all opinionated. Um, and that would be like saying that the dub for Cowboy Bebop is better. The dub for Cowboy Bebop is worse than the sub. And when even most of the teeth team who worked on Cowboy Bebop, I'm talking about the original Cowboy Bebop before it got dubbed, even agrees that the dub just handles the, that just hits the emotional tones and the theme of it even better than they did in the sub, that is, that tells you something. There are dubs that do surpass the subs, and f but that are that a majority of people agree with. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I think Full Metal Alchemist's uh, dub is fantastic. Um, and I've seen both versions. Um, but yeah, like going back on track, I would love to see a dub version of this because dubs, I usually prefer the comedy in dubs uh, more than subs for the most part. Um, I would love to see how they would do Kaguya-sama in a dub because me personally, I've personally found that when they dub over a comedy series, they add its own twist to it, add a more Western culture thing to it. Um, and I've said this before multiple times. I think the biggest one I can easily point out that will change lines to fit a Western culture and not change lines because, oh, this might seem sexist or racist or misogynistic. No, no, no. They change it to add more flavor would probably be High School of the Dead, rest in peace, because um, we're never going to get a second season. Um, where there was an episode where they got some guns and they were like, oh, this is this reminds me of Sarah fucking Palin. That wasn't part of the original. Um, and the full thing, because, like, that's something that Western, only Western audiences would really understand. Eastern audiences, Japanese or Asian, uh, Asian audiences wouldn't understand that. But for the Western, and most of Western culture at the time, especially during that time when they made that dub, that's fucking hilarious. And it's, it was really funny to see and listen to. Um, and that's, and yes, it, it was, it, High School of Dead wasn't purely a comedy series of course but when they add its own twist on things and instead of like like a shot for shot translation is fine and all but when they add their own twists in a good way and not redacting because of their own beliefs that's good 
And I, I mean, people could also say that, hey, that them replacing so-and-so with Sarah Palin was their own beliefs. I can kind of see that argument, but it's not the argument that I'm talking about where, like, they think that something might be considered ist, in a way, I-S-T, where it's racist, misogynistic, where they always bring up these stupid-ass terms, and I know one thing that is really big was Tokyo Mirage Sessions, F-E, that just, I think, got released either today or yesterday. Um, they chant, tra- they changed things because they didn't agree with how some things were said, and I don't agree with that. Um, it's fine if you change it, but then add its own th- twist or flair to it, but for the most part, don't change things. Keep it funny, or keep it exactly how it is. Um, I know I kind of really went off topic on this one, but it was just something I had been thinking about. And yeah, I get to talk about it at the end of the episode instead of during the middle where I'm pretty sure I piss off a lot of people like, oh, aren't you talking about the anime? Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. What did you guys think about of this episode? Again, thought it was hilarious. Um, and yeah, time to go get depressed in Darwin's game. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be watching Darwin's game right after this. Um, do a couple things and then watch Darwin's game. But yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys really attentively soon in the next video. See ya.